Hello and welcome friends to 5 Minutes Engineering. The topic of today's video is going to be cloud computing. What is cloud computing? That's the question I'm going to answer in today's introduction video. So let's start and let's make this topic easy. Okay, so let me take an example which will illustrate you the importance of cloud computing. A very basic, a relatable example. Let's say you have a business and you want to increase your business value. So for that, you want to build a website. And to build a website, there are various requirements. Let's say a major requirement is you need servers okay so what you're gonna do is that buy the servers and you are then gonna think that yes the work is done this is the end of the game this is the end game now i can focus on my major and important thing that is to increase the business value i can focus on that but trust me that's not the thing that's gonna happen okay because you spend some money buy the servers you have to again spend more money to maintain those servers Okay, you have to also take care of the availability issues. You also have to take care and handle the security issues. You have to detect the security issues. You have to handle the security issues. Okay, plus there are other resources that are required. You have to also plus handle them as well. Okay, so what your focus is distributed onto many things and the business value, the business is somewhere aside. Okay, so for that, what could be done? This seems like a headache to me. This all situation seems to be a very big mess and you are into that. Now, who is gonna give you a helping hand to just make out, uh, sorry, not make out, to just get out of this messy situation? So it is going to be cloud computing. Okay, so what is basically happening here is that simply a person is sitting, okay, let's say a person is sitting a provider, okay, who is gonna provide you the servers that you need over the internet. So what you have to do is just to access those servers over the internet. You don't have to, you know, take care of this all messy situation. You don't have to take care about the resources, the availability issues, the security issues. No, you don't have to take care about this. That person who is sitting there, who is a provider is going to take care of all those things. You just have to access those servers over the internet and focus on your business value and pay that person, pay that provider for whatever you are using. Now let's try and understand a statement on cloud computing. It is the use of remote servers on the internet to store manage and process the data rather than local servers okay instead of local servers so here the first situation where we bought our own servers that those were the local servers so instead of doing that what we can do what i said there's a provider sitting who is having a remote servers a remote servers what you have to do is that over the internet you have to just access them okay for various purpose like you want to store the data you want to manage the data you want to process the data for whatever the requirement you have but you can access those remote servers over the internet that's the simple use of cloud computing and whatever you are using you just have to pay for it let me take one another example which will you know uh, give you an idea about one more perspective of cloud computing and that example is pretty simple let's consider a person is there okay and whose job is such that He's working in such a way that uh, he has to be posted or migrate every three months from one city to other city. Let's say uh, for the three months he is in Bangalore, the next three months he is going to be into Mumbai, the next three months he is going to move to Indore. So this is the job pattern. Okay, he cannot be it at one place permanently and performing his work and doing his job. That's not the way it is. Okay, so he has to migrate every three months. So in that situation, what would be a good choice for that person? What's going to be the right choice to buy a house or to get a house on a rent? Okay. So what is going to be the right choice? Obviously the profitable deal is to get a house on rent for every three months to every city that he is going, going to get posted because his requirement is only of three months. Okay. Buying a house is just like that. You are going to permanently stay into that city. So for the accommodation purpose, you need to buy a house. So that's a good idea. In that case, it is a profitable deal. But here the requirement is different. That person's requirement is different because the requirement of job of that person is that you have to get posted, migrated every three months to every new city. So as per that, the persons for that person, the good choice, the best choice, the right choice is to get a house on rent, live there for three months, change the city repeat the process that's going to be the simple thing so here what is happening as per the requirement he is gonna go and rent a house so similarly here in the cloud computing as per the requirement you get the resources on rent okay and for how much duration for how much time you want that it is on you okay so what resources you want when you want those resources for how much time you want those resources these all questions 
answers are provided by cloud computing and in a very easy manner so what you can do is that as per your requirement for how much resources you want how much time those resources are required by you you can just pay for that and you can use them up scalability is one another interesting feature of cloud computing let me give you an example we were building a website correct so let's say we have built a website and now we are going to analyze the traffic that is coming on our website okay so obviously uh, obviously it is going to be different okay for different time periods different time slots in a day it's going to be different it is not a scenario which is possible that throughout the day throughout the night the traffic on your website is constant this cannot happen okay so let's consider a situation where in the evening time okay uh, the people are free they are of their office okay at their home and they are free so they can visit your website so at that duration of time in the evening time they are free so the traffic is going to be high in the evening time on your website the traffic is going to be really high but in the time like the office hours we can say 9 to 5 where the people are in a rush to go into their office work and all that stuff is there so for, for that particular time duration the traffic is going to be really low so this kind of a situation can be excellently be handled by cloud computing by providing scalability means whenever required whenever there is a high traffic the resources can be scaled up to meet up the requirement and whenever the traffic is very very low okay like i said in the office hours 9 to 5 the traffic is really very low so at that time the resources can be scaled down so by using cloud computing you are making sure that you are saving your most important two resources that is first is money and the second thing is time the money and time is being saved and now you can invest it in your business to increase your business value.